yourself from here. At the moment, just keep these on your shoulder. Make sure you're hitting with the last two inches still. Okay, so you're hitting, just hold that, so you're hitting about here in each other's sticks so you get a maximum reach, so you're not getting too close in. And then just keep working the hips. One, two, from the temple and down here, and then in, in, keeping the other stick on your shoulder just to make it easy for you. As you get better at this, you won't be on your shoulder anymore. See? It'll be active. Okay, so they can easily move out. Okay, so try that. Yeah, ready? Go. Try to do the upwards one. It's going to end up looking like a figure eight. So you're doing the high X, high X. Then you're going to do a low X. Still trying to keep with that sword edge. So where your knuckles are, imagine that's a sword and you're coming up. And then you'll turn the hand, imagine it's a sword edge and you're coming up. So you're not just hitting with a flatter stick, you can eject it out of your hand. It'll look like a figure eight because it's going to look like this motion, which will draw a figure eight. So we're going to do a high X. So we go one, two, three, four, then we come up. One, two, and then come up. One, two, so it's like a figure eight motion. And we do it again. X, X, figure eight motion. And then again. Figure eight motion. You notice with this that it's coming up, laid edge up, cutting, and then cutting. Okay, from here, so it's going up that way. Okay, from here, then you do it again. So you go high X, high X, <laughs> upwards figure eight, upwards figure eight. Make sense? Yes? Okay, so from here, from loading up, so we're going to do the high X, high X, figure eight. Figure eight, then you're going to do hit through, and then retract, then you're going to do hit through, then retract, and then restart. So we got X, X, figure eight, figure eight, hit through, retract, hit through, retract. Okay, and then we restart. So one more time, figure eight, I mean not figure eight, X, <laughs> figure eight coming up, coming up, hit through, then retracting hit. Hit through, then retracting hit. Okay, make sense? Let's try that. So, we're going to do like pop pop drill. Okay, the basic one. So, from here, you're going to do X, X, low X, or figure eight. Okay, then from here, you've got to angle the stick now that it stays angled, that like you don't touch each other. So, you go in, in, and then you slightly angle it for the midsection here, here, and then you point it down here. Here. The reason you've got to do that is because if you both come at this angle, you both smack each other's knuckles, so you have to slightly angle it. It's a coordination drill. You're just doing something with your partner. This is not the defense against your partner doing something. Okay, this is so you both learn the same thing. Okay, so here we go. X, X, figure eight low, figure eight low, and then tap, 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 tap. Restart. X, X. Figure eight, figure eight, tap high, tap high, tap middle, tap middle, tap low, ah. tap low, <laughs> like that. Okay, when you tap low, just aim them, here, kneecap, kneecap, so you both do the same, so we'll make an X with the stick, and you do it here, so I'll do it one more time, so X, X, figure eight, figure eight, high, high, middle, middle, low, low, well done. <laughs> right, so from here, Remember, just get the angles right. So we've got the high X, so we hit with the end. Hit with the end of the stick, maximum force, end. And get the same thing on a figure eight. Same thing on a figure eight. Okay, these are like Wittick strikes, so they're nice and short again. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then from here, once again, get the end of the stick, go high and low, and really separate the sticks, and then high and low. So you don't end up going double in the middle. Make them nice separate. Your knee height, their temple height. So you get here. Go through a nice good separation. So we go through it again. X, X, figure eight, figure eight. We'll take actions. One, two, three, four, five, six. High low, high low. And then you're ready to do Right, so with your partner, all they're going to do is just feed your angle one and angle two really slowly. You're going to treat it like it's a lead pipe. So when he's aiming, he's aiming here one, and he's coming here and aiming two. What your partner's gonna do is, as they're aiming there, you're gonna go for the hand, as he comes back, you're gonna go for the hand. This is why you treat it like a lead pipe, because you want slow contact, slow contact. So 
All the work that you did here, where you were hitting through, hitting, hitting through, although this was a pattern, you were both learning the angles and striking at each other, one of the real applications is take the hand out, take the hand out, okay? Long range disarming. So if he's trying to hit here, I'm just not gonna be there, take the hand out. When that stick's dropped, then now I can follow through and then do what you want. So your X pattern would be strike the hand, and then follow through. <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay, there's the, like, the, like the little taps, you know, this hurts enough. So that's why when you're feeding this, okay, so I'm going to give him the stick now. Okay, don't do anything yet. I'm going to feed it like a lead pipe. Imagine it's really heavy, then I'm going to go one, two. I'm not going to help him out by moving my hand to his stick. I'm going to aim for his temple and aim for his temple, and he's going to make sure he's back enough, and he's going to aim for the actual hand. Okay, so go. So aim here and aim here. He'll either get it or he won't, but I'm aiming for his temple here. So I'm not helping him out by going, see, I've helped him out. I'm going for the temple, the temple, the temple, the temple, and he's seeing if he can hit my hand on every one or whether he misses or not. So that make sense? What you want to do now is you're wanting to hit, bring the shoulder, hit on the same line you just hit on, and then bring it back to the shoulder, and it'll go underneath. Okay, so from here, so I'll do it facing this way for you. So place your sticks, so one underneath, one on top. Okay, from here, so you're gonna hit the temple, bring it back to your shoulder. Second stick hits the temple in the same place, bring it back to your shoulder. Now this is a retracting hit that you just did in open chambers, where you hit, but then pull back. So go underneath your armpit. Now you're on the opposite side. So now you're gonna hit, hit, okay, both on the shoulder, hit out, and then retract and put it back underneath. So we do that again. Strike the temple, strike the temple, strike the opposite side of the temple, bring it underneath. So the first two strikes are hitting through. So we hit through, hit through. Now this one retracts and hits. Okay, so I'm facing the same way as you guys now. So from here, we're going to hit through, hit through, and then from here, hit and retract, and then come back. Okay, so we do it again, we hit through, hit through, hit, and retract. So we do it again, we hit through the target, through the target, hit the target, and retract. We do it again, hit, 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 don't worry. <laughs> ready, and then back, ready? Hit, 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 and back. Now all you're gonna to do to make this easier, we just use Umar, one partner's just going, instead of doing a partner drill first, one person's just going to put one stick up. Okay, from here. Now all you're going to do is just practice tapping the stick. So you're going to go hit, hit, hit the opposite side, back. Hit through it, hit through it, tag it, back. Hit through it, hit through it, tag it, and back. And as you get comfortable with it, start speeding up. Hit through, hit through, tag. Hit through, hit through, tag. Hit through, hit through, tag. Pound these two, you can place two hands on the bottom of the stick. That's it, just to you know, keep it stronger, so just place your other one at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. And then just out, and then you can go hit through, hit through, tag. Hit through, hit through, tag. Hit through, hit through, tag. Please make sure that you do it up here. And no, hit through, hit through, hit tag, please. Uh, I've just been doing this, so you're going one, two, three. One, two, three. They're all pointing up to the heavens. Okay, just all point up. Okay, that's it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, those that know that, if you want to on the next set, you can put one low. So, if we're on the next one, you can go with this one low, these two high. <coughs> high, high, retract. Now, this one's going to go low. This one will go high, high. That's it, retract. And then we go low, high. Back hand, high, high, good. And then once again, we go low, and then we go high, back hand, high, high, that's it. So with that, Umar, okay, from there you go low, high, high, retract, low, high, high, retract, low, high, high. Those that just want to keep it simple, keep going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Those that want a bit more complicated, go one, go from here, sir. go low, high, high, Low, high, high. Okay? Kneecap, head, head. Kneecap, head, head. Okay? Make sense? Cool. Then you're going to slightly move your weight. So your hands are up. Move your weight. Okay? From here, you're going to end up 
slapping and then getting hold of the target and then elbowing the pad. Okay, this will look like this in reality. Don't worry. So I'm here, I move. First action is I go slap. This hand's now chambered. See how this comes to here? This moves the head across and grabs the head. This follows up through the elbow. Okay? So I'm here, yeah. one, two, time three. Yeah, you see how it flows in. Oh, yeah. So from here, when you're doing it when I'm there, when I go slap, it's slap, and then this is straight behind. It's not one, then two. It's one. Okay, so the both following. The moment that I go here, then I go slap. That hand's going to be right there, and that's just your three counts, it's just your one, two, three. So on the pad, don't need to slap too hard because you might send the pad too far away because they need to be all of there. Slight angle, okay, from here. You just got to transfer your weight, okay, from here this will be a slap. So you go slap, second hand slaps behind it, one, two. This grabs a hold of the pad, push, elbow strike it. So you put it a bit quicker together, one, two, push, three. Okay, so it's following up. The second one is a slap. But it's also a grab. Okay? So if I'm nice here, slap and it grabs. But see how it pushes his head over to the side? It opens up this line so I can hit everything. So his, his arteries and everything are pushed his head over the side, off balance him, and said, Thank you for opening it all out so I can hit it. Okay, that's basically what you're doing. Okay? So from here on the pad, here, slap, hit. Elbow, push, push, hit. 